Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today I think I've done something pretty cool that will very much benefit PlayStation 4 players if it's actually signed enough times. So what I'm talking about is that I've created a petition to Bethesda to implement some sort of change to the PlayStation 4 version of Fallout 4 that will substitute mods temporarily. Now, it may sound stupid, but just hear me out. And I know one or two people at Bethesda Studios will be watching this because I know you guys like to keep in contact and, you know, keep in watching all of the content creators who, you know, specialize in Fallout 4 stuff. So, what I was thinking when I woke up today as I was lying there is Bethesda used to always patch their games quite a lot at the very start of, you know, Fallout 4's release. They patched the Dogme duplication glitch numerous times, more than I can even count, I think. And I was thinking, wow, that was dedication. Now, what I was thinking is, where exactly is that dedication when it comes to PlayStation 4? Now, where I believe this could all combine in and mash into is that... What if, just what if, Bethesda created a PS4 only patch that added in a standalone cell, if you like, or a standalone room into the game at Sanctuary that had a boatload of, you know, building materials, weapons, this, that, and the other. Now, I know they've done this with the Contraptions DLC, made it easier for people to get building supplies. And I know they did it with Far Harbor, where they added in that little shed that had a lot of resources in it. That was cool, but it's not enough. It's not enough to enjoy your two new uh, workshop DLCs, the Contraptions Workshop and the Vault Workshop. Now, I know this isn't targeting everybody, because not everybody wants building supplies. People want to be able to jump around, wear Ant-Man suits, and for now, you guys are just going to have to wait, but I believe that this is a start. Heck, even some of my favorite building uh, YouTubers have stopped playing this game because it's so hard to gather materials on the PlayStation 4, such as Jug. He was a great PlayStation 4 builder. I loved watching his builds. He has stopped. Okay, so I messed up on those like four different takes there. What I'm trying to say is that Jug, he quit the game. He was a great builder. He was a great asset to the building mode in this game, you know? So what I'm trying to say is... Why not just add that little room that has an infinite spawn rate on every different type of item? And it doesn't even have to be scattered around. It could just be three different containers that contain 9999 of each item, in which if people take 999 of those items, it will respawn in 24 hours, thus making it very easy to just go in and out and keep on taking all of the materials. Now, I know this is just a temporary fix, but I know this will mean a lot to a whole lot of people. And if you believe in what I'm saying right now, I believe it's really easy to implement. I really do. It is simple to implement. And I think that if Bethesda, uh, the creators at Bethesda still have passion, then what's the harm in this? Yes, it may be a bit unimmersive, but so is a fucking ghoul that survived in a fridge for a couple of years, you know? It's just silly things like that. This is easy to implement. Do it. I can't see the problem. Now, please, please, just go down into the description, go and check the petition, read through it. I just ask that. If you think that it's possible, why not do it? You know, you're helping a lot of people out. A lot of people are now focusing on the vault -Tec Workshop. They're focusing on the Contraptions Workshop DLC. Now, you know actually implement something into the PlayStation 4 user's game so that they can enjoy this to the full. You've created these workshop DLCs, you've made it hard to grind the materials. Please, this is an easy fix, just think about it, please. So, yeah guys, if you are watching this and you believe in this, if you are an Xbox user, if you're a PC user, I don't care. All of us need to come together as a community. You know, we all support this game, we all love this game, we've been playing it for the past year and I believe that people should just come together and do what's right, and I believe this is the right move for all of my people there on the PlayStation 4. Now please, go and sign the petition, it is in the description, it's easy, you just click yes or no, you sign it, or just discard it, and if you want to, tweet this video to Bethesda, I surely will be reaching out to them personally, and yeah, if you guys actually tweet this video or the petition to them, then it's a higher chance of them looking at it and thinking, well, a lot of people want this, let's do it. It will take around about one or two weeks to actually implement. I have described everything into the petition, all of the reasons why it should happen, all of the problems surrounding it, but 
all in all, I believe it can work. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and I do hope that you have an awesome weekend. I'm going to watch Suicide Squad later, and yeah, doing some drunken Snapchats, uh, which my Snapchats can also be found in the description if you want to see me really fucked up and drunk with my friends. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all for watching, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya! This should shoot mini nukes. Oh, <laughs> yes! That is what I am talking about right there. Let's see if it shoots them really fast, just like a...